All right, everybody. Thank you so much for choosing to join me today. As those of you who take my class regularly know, my name is Christina, but just in case there's anybody out there that doesn't know who I am, I'm Christina. This is yoga. As always, please feel to, free to take everything at your own pace, kick it up, bring it down, and we're going to go ahead and start standing today. So come to a comfortable space in your exercise area, whatever that means to you. And standing up nice and tall in your best posture, just gently close the eyes. If that feels comfortable to you, redirect your attention inward and just arrive, right? There's so many things in our day before class, after class that pull us in so many different directions, right? Try to crank in your own reins or your own rope, if you will, back to yourself and aim to let go of those outside distractions to the very best of your ability. So what I mean by that is really harnessing you, harnessing your own internal energy, your own breath, your own space, whatever it might be right now. I know I have a dog somewhere on the floor. That's part of my space right now, right? And even though she's somewhere on the floor in front of me, I think, or she was, I'm trying to ground myself onto my own mat, into my own area. So as we think of grounding, see if you can lift all 10 toes up and off the floor, if that's comfortable to you, and notice how that kind of changes your relationship of your foot to the floor. And then gently release your toes, spreading all four corners of the foot really, really wide. And then bounce into the knees a little bit, softening at the joints, at the ankles, all the little joints in the feet, allowing them to be pliable and, and ready to move. So we're sending our breath down into our feet, down into our connection to the floor, and our awareness down as well. And then we carefully are going to draw up the body. So think about the knees next. Feeling them soft, maybe bouncing a little bit, moving if you feel like you need to. Drawing energy up the front of the legs, back of the legs. Gently squeezing the glutes, gently squeezing the navel to spine, protecting the lower back. And then when you come to the hips, think about drawing your energy from the outside of the hips inward, just below your belly button right down into your root chakra. And see if you can imagine an energy center there that maybe looks like a little fireball or a little ball of energy, whatever that means to you, whatever image comes up where you go with it, right? And then think about taking that little energy ball and drawing it straight up the front body, straight up the back body, out through the crown of the head, helping your spine stack vertebra by vertebra, helping your shoulders roll up, back, and down, maybe gently tucking the chin, allowing you to arrive in your best posture. And taking that inner sense, that little energy ball, that inner sense of intuition, right? And also thinking about how your gut and your gut sense connects to what the mind sees, right? And some of our mental thoughts. So carefully place one hand just below your navel in that root chakra. And then we're gonna place one hand just above our head and your choice, eyes open or closed. So not necessarily touching the head, but just above it. And then imagine energy running between your two hands, up and down and up and down might feel a sense of heat in the body. I know I started to just sweat when I did that, which is so exciting because it's such a nice hot day and I love a good cathartic sweat. Um, but just think about tapping the two together and thinking about ways in which they can sort of work synergistically during this time. So there's so much going on outside of our world, right? So much information coming in to our brains with what we're seeing. But think about really tapping into your own gut intuition and harnessing that. When you feel ready, gently allow your hands 
to come together. So flutter the eyes open if you need to. You're gonna bring your hand from your lower abdominal wall, the hand that was above your head to the front of your body, and you're just gonna gently press the energy centers together and imagine that you've got this ball of energy between your two hands. So inhale here and then exhale. You're gonna turn the palm down, place the hand down, and then the other palm's gonna to face toward the camera and you're gonna come on up. Good, extending your energy in both directions. So down towards your feet and up towards your head. Inhale here and then exhale, bring your hands together. So palms face one another, your energy centers touch or come close and then exhale, press. Good, one more time. Inhale, shrink it. Exhale, press. Good, now carefully switch the hands, just kind of windmill them around. And then put the other hand on your belly and the other hand on your top. Take a moment, maybe close your eyes, redirect your attention inward again. And imagine sort of those two energy centers. And then when you feel ready, when you feel like you're warm, and you've got a sense of your own energy, release the hand from the belly, flip the palm up, and then draw two hands together. Exhale, and then inhale, turn both palms away from the midline, so that top arm's going up, bottom arm's going down, and then exhale, think about shrinking. Good, one more time. Up and down. Nice, release hands from the body. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up. Reach, 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 fill with breath. And then exhale, whatever hand um, wants to go down, allow it to go down. And not necessarily on the belly, but just outside. And then you're gonna switch your hands up and over. Good, couple more up and over. So one hand is low, one hand's high, and wherever they fall is fine. Good. Couple more, we're gonna add in the feet in just a moment, we're gonna to begin to move, but really root down into the feet and see how you feel here. Nice. So when you feel ready, inhale, bring your arms up, and then exhale, the hand that's low is the leg that's gonna stay on the floor, and the other arm is, uh, the other leg's gonna come back up on the toe mound and just press here. Good, inhale, step two feet together, and then exhale, just bring it over opposite side. Thinking again about moving that core energy, that center energy, your own intuition, right? Connecting it to your head space. And then also thinking about bringing it through your heart space as well as we're just coming over side to side. Good, now if you wanna kinda create a curtsy squat here, you can move slow. You can move fast. It's really about your own perfect pace. Good. It's a variation of hold the world. Let's do one more each way. Good, and then whatever side you land on, stay there. Take a big inhale, exhale. Let's do some little pulses here with the legs. We go down, up, down, up. Y'all know I love a fitness variation. So we get our burn on as we flow in our yoga class. Three, two, one. Now take that leg from behind, shoot both hands up and your knee up as well, coming into balance. And if that doesn't work for you, that's fine. Try to just lift the heel. Holding here for a moment, breathe for three, two, one. Step down, switch your hands, get low in your little curtsy lunge here, and then pulses, cultivating our own inner heat. I don't know about you, I'm very hot. <laughs> Down and up. Six, five, last four. Good work, everybody. Three, two, one. Bound off the standing leg and shoot your energy straight up. Good, one more time each way. Get low. We're gonna cut down the pulses. Last three, two, one. Come on up and balance. Find your own still point. Step down, pulse, down and up. Nice job, four, three, two, one. Take that back leg with you and rise. Good, step the feet down. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up. Reach, 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 fill with breath. Exhale, arms come to a T position. We hold, hit the belly button in and we fold here, allowing everything to hang heavy. 
allowing all of that work we just did to kind of drain out through the crown of the head. Finding something to touch here in your rag doll, your shins. Sometimes I like to make a little shelf with my arms, like grab your shins, your feet, whatever you'd like. And just take a moment to kind of rest and breathe. And then when you feel ready, walk hands up legs or inhale, circle, sweep the arms up, reach, 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 fill with breath. And exhale, swan dive forward again. Good, we're gonna do a few more here. Peel and roll up, bend into the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, we're up. And exhale, we bring ourselves down. Nice job, everybody. One more time. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, we bring our arms down. Good, inhale, circle, sweep the arms up. Reach, 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 fill with breath. And this time, as we exhale, hands are gonna come to the hips. We're gonna take a big lunging step back with our right leg. So back leg can be straight, it can be more fitness variation in sort of those 90-90 angles, whatever you so choose. And then when you feel ready, raise your hands up toward the sky, pinkies face in to kind of alleviate any shoulder tension here. We inhale, exhale, and breathe. Good. Now when you feel ready, the leg that's bent, that hand is gonna sweep back and to the front a couple more times. Just that one arm, same side of the leg that's bent. Good, one more time. And this time as it comes back, we're gonna allow ourselves to blossom open into warrior two. So front knee is bent, back leg is straight, hips are off on the 45 and we allow ourselves to blossom and grow, right? Gaze is traditionally over the front middle finger. We relax our shoulders, but really make it your own. Do what works for you. Imagining that our inner thighs are magnetized together. We're still feeling that sense of rooting down as we lift up through our center. Good, breathing for three, two, one, taking our back hand and our back heel with us, we turn back to that warrior one. And then blossom the arm open, find warrior two. We're gonna slow a little bit here. Back arm up, warrior one. So it's pivoting your back foot. Back heel is lifted when we're in the warrior one and back heel presses when we're in warrior two. Good, one more time. Warrior one. Exhale, open to warrior two. Now your option, step the feet together if you'd like. If you'd like an added challenge, you're gonna spin the hips forward. This back leg's gonna come on up and find our balance point here, pulling the core in quite a bit. Breathing for three, two, one, placing the feet down. Inhale, we circle sweep, reach, 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 fill with breath. Exhale, we come on down and fold. Good, peel and roll up. Inhale, we're all the way up. Nice, and exhale, you're gonna step the opposite foot back, finding warrior one on the opposite side. Now I just switched sides of the mat so you guys could see a little bit better, but you don't need to do that at home. So again, long yogic lunge if you so choose, or more of that fitness variation, 90-90, either way works. Relax the shoulders down into the joints and breathe. Right, allow the breath to flow, deep and complete inhales, deep and complete exhale. So the hand on the leg that's bent, we're gonna circle it in the back direction and up. Good, inhale, circle it around. Exhale, make it stop in the up position. Good. One more time. Nice effort, everybody, way to go. This time, allow the hand to come back and as it does, blossom yourselves open, finding warrior two, feeling free to adjust your stance forward or back any way that you need to. Again, make it your own. One thing we want to be mindful of is we want this front knee to track directly over our front toes, right? No inversion or outversion or wacky twisting. Joint stacking, knee over ankle, right? Take the back hand with you, back heel comes with you. Inhale, we find warrior one, and exhale, we blossom open warrior two. Big exhale there. Inhale, we rise, exhale to warrior two. Good job, everybody. A couple more times. Inhale, we're up. Exhale, we press. Nice. Last one. Inhale, we're up. Exhale, press. 
This time as you inhale, step the feet together or take the back hand with you and cultivate your own inner sense of strength as you lift the back leg up to hip height and then place it down. Good, inhale, circle sweep the arms up. Reach, 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 fill with breath. Exhale, we fold. Nice, inhale, hands to shins, lengthen out the back. Exhale, release. Good, pressing the hands firmly into the floor. We're gonna step one foot back and then the other, finding our first downward facing dog of the day. And if for some reason this doesn't work, totally cool. Any point during class, you can allow yourself to melt forward in child, just allowing your head to rest down, finding a simple shape that works for you. So really your choice, your option. Child or down dog. If you've chosen down dog, maybe you want to make it move a little bit. Maybe pushing one heel toward the earth and then the other. Really lengthening out the back of the body. Slow, fast, hold on one side. Make it wide, make it narrow, make it yours. Spread the finger wide. Root the finger pads down into the floor. Lift the meaty part of the hand up and off the floor. Good, and then when you feel ready, see if you can find stillness. Inhale and exhale. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. We continue to draw ourselves into the present, in the here, in the now, and on the mat. You can do it, you're worth every bit of it. Good, when you feel ready, gaze between the hands. Tiptoe the feet up, or jump, or hop, or step. Hands to feet, feet to hands. Find a forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up. Reach, 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 fill with breath. Exhale, step back, warrior one. Back heel is lifted. Inhale here, exhale, back heel press as we blossom open to warrior two. Straighten into the front leg. Inhale, reach, reach, reach forward. Exhale, back hip goes back. And then the hands fall where they land and we find a triangle. So, Triangle is so much more about creating length than it is like, oh my gosh, I've got all this flexibility, I can be on the floor. So we imagine our body between two panes of glass, we activate the top arm, right? Helps the muscle hug bone, and you can allow the back of your hand to rest, palm can face your camera, or you can kind of grab. If that doesn't work too, you can kind of create a little shelf with that front knee. Go ahead, bend it. You do you. Inhale, exhale, and breathe. When you feel ready, hands move equal and opposite speed. Back to warrior two, bend into the front knee. Back hand and heel come with you. We find warrior one, option to step the feet together and chill, or lift that back leg up. Finding balance here. Good, now option and choice. You can tap the foot down and the leg back, or float forward and find your version of warrior three. I almost find this is one of the most challenging poses for me. The thumbnail points down and the hips are technically rotated directly toward the floor. Hands can reach out, they can be on your hips, they can be at heart center, be out in airplane, really whatever makes the most sense for you. We breathe for three, two, and one, step the feet together, inhale, circle, sweep the arms up, reach, 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 fill with breath. Exhale, the opposite foot steps back this time. Finding your perfect lunge, whatever that means to you. Inhale here and exhale. Good, when you feel ready, we blossom open. Warrior two, stay right where you are. Inhale and exhale, breathe. Good, straighten into the front leg. Inhale, reach for something just beyond your grasp. Wherever your hands fall is fine, and we find a triangle. Again, imagining the body between two panes of glass. You're nice and square. Activate energy out through that top arm. Gaze can be up to the side or down. Picking a focal point, allowing the breath to flow. We inhale and exhale, cultivating Awareness and energy from the ground. Draw from the ground up. Find warrior two. Back hand and back heel come with you. We come to that warrior one position. And then your choice, feet step together. Or we lift, right? 
and then choosing your warrior three, whatever that means to you. Leg can be out back behind, kick the back leg long. This is cool too, this is cool, all good. Also, if you have a chair nearby or a couch, kind of grab onto it for balance if you need. Breathing for three, for two, for one. Step the feet together, inhale, circle, sweep the arms up, reach, 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 fill with breath. Exhale, folding forward. Good, inhale, hands to chin, flat back position. Exhale, release, step it back. Take a moment of rest in child or chilling down dog. Whatever feels best to you. And just take this moment to focus on one deep and complete inhale, one deep and complete exhale. Good. Move to See if you can gaze if you're in down dog or even a child at that energy center right below your belly button that we were talking about before. See if you can find it. It's really traditional with the Ashtanga practice. They teach that. Gazing at the navel. When you feel ready, hands to feet, feet to hands, step, walk, hop, carry, fold. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up. Reach, 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 fill with breath. Exhale, the right leg comes back. We find that warrior one. Top arm blossoms open. Warrior two, back heel is grounded. Good, straighten into the front leg. Inhale, big reach. Exhale, we find triangle. Nice. Managing your moment, inhaling and exhaling. Good, little change coming up here. Ground down into the feet, hands move equal and opposite speed back to warrior two, and then we keep the motion going. Legs stay the same, and we reach to our back, coming into humble warrior. Finding something to touch. Maybe a little half bind action. Back leg, glute, whatever you got. Inhale and exhale. Opening this entire side body here feeling the strength that you're cultivating in your legs. Activate them, make them work. Hands move equal and opposite speed. Back to warrior one. Take your back hand and back heel with you. Find that warrior one position. Sorry, we were in two. Now we're in one, here we go. Now your choice, lift up or step up. Hold for a moment. And then when you feel ready, hinge. Find that warrior three position. Inhale, exhale, and breathe. Good. When you feel ready, step the feet together. Inhale, with intent, with power. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back position. Exhale, release, bend into the knees. Inhale, we rise. Reach, 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 fill with breath. Exhale, we step back and find warrior one on the opposite side again. Short lunge, long lunge, whatever feels good. Back arm reaches to your back. We blossom open to warrior two. Smile and breathe, everybody. And you can always kind of play with it a little bit, like figure out where you want to be. Straighten into the front leg. Inhale, reach for something just beyond your grasp. And exhale, allow your arms to come down as your top arm reaches skyward. Manage your moment. Stay with the breath. And know that it's okay to take a break if you need to. Childs, always a choice. Standing still, we love that too. Draw energy up from the ground. Bend into the front knee, we find warrior two. Keep the motion going, humble warrior. Breathe into the entire space that the posture is creating. Straighten into the back leg. Grip the floor with your toes if you need to for balance. Hands move equal and opposite speed back to warrior two. Back hand, back heel comes with you. We find warrior one. And then your choice, step the feet together where we lift, find balance, and hinge, find our warrior three. Good, noticing any differences side to side, looking on them without competition, without judgment. When you feel ready, we step the feet together, explode from the floor, inhale, we rise, 
Exhale, we fold. Inhale, hands to shins, gaze behind your mat, flat back. Exhale, release. Step or jump back, find down dog. Child, if you need, take a moment here. Inhale and exhale. And then when you feel ready, hands to feet, feet to hands. Fold, step, walk, hop, carry. Peel and roll up. And just stand for a moment. Please feel free to grab a quick drink if you need. Allow your eyes to close. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Breathe deeply and let go. Just take note of what's happening in your body. Do a quick body scan. Enjoy some still, even if that still is just in your own mind. Walls could be coming around, down around you. You are here, you are now, you're present. Good. And then when you feel ready, we're gonna flutter the eyes open, coming to the top of our space. Inhale, circle sweep the arms up, reach, 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 fill with breath. And then exhale, we're gonna come all the way down and fold. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back position. Exhale, release, framing your favorite foot. Stepping the opposite leg back into a nice big lunge. Now, if that doesn't work, that's cool. You can keep it up nice and high. That's fine too. Use your front leg as a little bit of a shelf. That works. Drawing energy out through the crown of the head. We take a deep and complete inhale, a deep and complete exhale. And then we're going to come into a couple different variations of twisting here. So move the hand of the leg that's back closest to your foot. And then you can bow and arrow, just pull that arm back. If you want to come into a full twist, you can. Also, if you need to shorten it up a little bit, you're here, and that's fine. We love that. Inhale, exhale, and breathe. And that front hand can touch the floor. It doesn't need to. It can be cupcaked. Good. Again, pulling the pit of the belly button in and up, accentuating our squeeze and our twist, straighten strong into the back leg. Fire out energy through that back leg. Take one more moment here, inhale, exhale, and then two hands spin down. Drop the back heel on its edge, move the hand that was just up to the inside, and then we're gonna counter twist. And again, simple side angle, it's great here too. Inhale and exhale and breathe. Gazing with the top arm if that feels good. Stay with your breath. Manage your moment. Thanks. I'm so happy you're here. Stay with it. Take one more moment. And then when you feel ready, come on down. Frame the front leg. Drop the back knee. Untuck the toes. And then I'm going to turn to the front so you can see me. I'm going to walk both hands to the inside of that knee. Coming into lizard. So a couple different variations here. You can kind of just stay low. If it feels comfy and cozy to allow this knee to go out to the side, you can. If you want to come down onto the forearms, you can. It's really up to you. And if for some reason this doesn't work, Let's give this a go. We're going for a nice big release in this back hip flexor. So you can get there in the high position or in this lower lizard position. We're gonna hold for a few moments. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna exhale. You can also play with wrapping this arm around if you so choose. Options and choices, right? Taking one more moment. Breathing deeply, letting go. And when you feel ready, if you're down on your forearms, carefully press one hand up and then the other. Lengthen out through the crown of the head. So if your head was dropped, lift it. Tuck the toes, lift the back leg, and then step back to a plank position. 
Now your choice, knees up, knees down, whatever feels appropriate to you. Holding in that upper push-up plank. Good. Let's all drop the knees, untuck the toes, elbows hug the body, lower the chest toward the floor. Take a big inhale here and then exhale, press yourself straight back up. We're gonna do some tricep work. Inhale, lower down, squeeze the elbows toward the body. Take an inhale while you're down, exhale, press yourself straight back up. Good, inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Good, this time, inhale, lower down, touch your chest toward the floor, and then baby cobra peek beyond your mat. Maybe you're ready to move into full upward facing dog. Allow the heart space to open. You can tuck the toes, you can do whatever variation you like. Squeeze the glutes, protect the lower back, and breathe. Inhale, and exhale. This is fine. If you're standing, just a simple back bend. Make fists with your hands, place them in the small of your back, and just arch up like you're arching over a big beach ball. That works too. If you're lifted, lower yourself down, squeeze your triceps towards your body, press yourself up through modified plank position, and exhale, we find downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale, child is always an option and a choice too. Dropping the knees, bowing the heart low. Ha. Feeling free to let out a ha or a ha or a hmm. The comfort of your own home, our gym right to you. Inhale and exhale. Nice effort. Let's flow through down dog if that works. Inhale here, and then exhale, your opposite leg is gonna come to the outside of the hand. The leg that's straight, frame the foot, bring the same hand of the straight leg over, and twist. And again, right? High twist, that's cool too. We love that. Manage your moment, make it work for you, and enjoy. Squeezing out any toxins, any impurities, anything that you no longer need. Take a moment and let it go. Best you can. This idea like, oh, let go, let go, let go. Yeah, like it's so easy. No, it requires effort. And give yourself credit for that effort. You're doing great. We have one more moment here. When you feel ready, the top arm comes down. We drop the bottom heel on its edge. Move the outside hand to the inside of your leg and twist open in the opposite direction. And again, simple side angle here. This works. Really about what makes the most sense for you. Inhale and exhale, breathe and let go. Aim to be still. Aiming to be static. And then when you feel ready and your next exhale comes, bring that hand down so that way it's on the inside of your leg. I'll turn to the front again so you can see me. So the back leg is nice, straight, and strong. I can go flat handed. I can go cupcaked. I can go in a high position, reaching up and over. Or I can drop the back leg untuck the toes. Everybody, if you're on the ground, drop the back leg, untuck the toes. And then if you'd like, you can come down to the forearms. This knee can stay, stay straight or flare open. Yogi's choice. Allow the forehead to drop. Continue to breathe. Continue to let go. And be here now. Noticing any differences side to side. Looking on them without competition, without judgment. This outside hand can wrap around if you so choose. Choice. Good. Nice job, everybody. For distance, I feel so connected to all of you. I'm so glad you all came today. And when you feel ready, 
come up back. If you're down on your forearms, carefully press one hand up and then the other. Tuck the toes, lift the back knee, and step back. Put your downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, and breathe. Child is always an option, always a choice. Do what makes sense for you now. We're going to do one more twist for the upper body. And then we're going to make our way all the way down to the floor. So let's come to table, everybody. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And then a couple just cat and dog folds along belly to side. Ice the sky back, bend tailbone, draw toward one another, inhale. And then exhale, pass the floor away, round, rock and roll, coming into cat. Good, inhale, extend up. And exhale, find cat. Good, one more time. Inhale, lengthen out through the crown, out through the tail. Dog, and then exhale, cat. And then find your midpoint. So we're gonna extend the right leg back behind us. Cross it behind, that way you're up on the toe mound. And then take a peek at your back heel if that feels good. Inhale, exhale, and breathe here. Nice. Really feeling an entire lengthening across the side body. And if it's too much to be on the hands, that's fine. You can also make this shape in a standing position. Do what works for you. And then when you feel ready, straight and strong, you're gonna take this leg all the way out to the side, pointing toes forward. Walking your hands back, coming on up. We're gonna inhale up, reaching energy out through our top arm. Release hands toward the floor. Hinge forward from this position mindfully. And then if it feels good to come onto the forearms, and allow the head to rest heavy here. You can go ahead and do so. Big old inner thigh stretch. Inhaling and exhaling. If it feels good to kind of rock forward and back, go for it. You can. It's your practice. And it's exactly that. It's practice. It's not perfect. One more moment here. When you feel ready. Press into the hands, take the leg that's straight, bring it back behind you. Inhale, lift just the right arm all the way up, and then exhale, we're gonna cross it between the leg and the arm, and then you're gonna come to rest in the down position in thread the needle. Now, option to stay right here. If you'd like an added challenge or twist, you can release the hand that's from the floor up, and drape it across the back of your body, looking for the crease of your right hip. Options and choices, but breathe big into the upper back and shoulders. A lot of us feel tension there. This is an opportunity to aim to let it go. Huh. Breathe out. And when you feel ready, the hand that's looking for that opposite hip, if it is, stand up toward the sky. We release our hand right in line with our nose, and then we actively press into the hand on the floor. Inhale up, and exhale down. Shake out anything that you need to. And then when you feel ready, we're going to extend the left leg back, cross it behind, and take a peek at it. Thinking about drawing your inner thighs together here. Inner thigh on the bent leg and the straight leg. Gesture toward one another that'll help you not collapse your foot in one direction or the other, but keep it up nice and straight. Nice, then when you feel ready, bring it straight and strong across. Toes point toward the front of your space. Hands walk back a little bit and then we rise. And you can stay down too if you're like, Christina, no, I'm done. I want to just chill. That's fine. Exhale, bring the arms down. And then your opportunity to stay up high or come down onto the forearm. Sometimes it feels good to micro walk your elbows toward your straight leg to 
and allow the head to kind of rest and just draw toward and back. If you love that. If you are choosing to move, make sure that you're breathing as you do. Our breath helps send messages to the body that all is well, all is okay. My own life, I've been trying to really focus on taking a breath before I act or make a decision. Whether it's what I'm making for dinner tonight, or an email that I'm ready to click send on. I'm trying to slow everything down. Matching our head space with our gut space. Right? Knowledge that we cultivate in our brain. Knowledge coming in. But also being mindful of our own intuition. So when you feel ready, come on up. And then extend that leg back. Inhale, left arm reaches up really, really high. And then exhale, we thread the needle. Come on down, allowing that cheek to rest. Continuing to cultivate length here. Breathing into a twist for the upper back and shoulders. Now, if you'd like, you can release that hand up and drape it if that feels good. And if not, that's okay. For some reason, this doesn't work too for you, this thread the needle thing. You can just bring your arm across. That works too. Allowing yourself to completely relax, completely let go and breathe. To be still, you need to be quiet. And then when you feel ready, something's hooked or wrapped, unwrap it, extend that arm right up back to where it came from, release that hand that with the thumb is in line with the nose, actively pressing to the arm. Inhale, we're up, and exhale, we bring ourselves down. Your choice, take a moment of rest in child or down dog. Making child your own, if you've chosen child. Really allowing the hips to rest down. Breathing into the back body. Good. You can make it home if they have. You can take the hips at a time. You can lift the meaty part of him up and off the floor. Make it yours. And know that it's perfect and right for you. When you feel ready, float yourself forward. Sit your hips toward one side of your mat. Roll yourself all the way down. Take your knees with you. Give them a hug. <sighs> Rock it out side to side. And you make some circles in one direction, circles in the other. Allowing yourself to completely relax, completely let go. And in this space, see if there's any like other motion or things that you feel like you need to kind of do to begin to wind down. I feel like I want to kind of like point and flex my feet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But feel free to hug your knees towards your chest. Explore whatever makes the most sense. And then when you feel ready, we're going to place our feet right down on the floor. And then you're going to go about double your hip width. So heel toe, your feet apart. Arms come out to a T position, and then we're gonna wide windshield wipe our knees over toward one side. Now, if this doesn't work for you, cool. Stack them and bring them over. Traditional spinal twist. And then looking opposite the knees, relaxing into the twist. Inhaling and exhaling. Noticing what you can let go here. Any thoughts or feelings or emotions that come up during this time? Try to look on them without competition, without judgment. Hey, thought, hey, feeling. See you later. You'll be there after class, right? Yeah. And then when you feel ready without too much thought or care, switch sides, please. Stay on the one side if you need to. Again, make it your own. Make it make sense for you in the here, in the now, and on the map. Good. 
Focusing on your inhales, focusing on your exhales. Gently allowing yourself to pull up back center. Taking one leg, drawing it in toward the chest, extending the other leg back, grabbing on top of the knee or behind the knee, flexing the opposite foot. Inhale, exhale, breathe. And then release that foot right into the floor. And the leg that's closest to the bent leg, keep it there, extend the opposite hand out. Now you're gonna take that um, hand and then kind of just find that energy center that we talked about before and rub it a little bit. And feel free to go to the opposite hip if you want. And then switch hands. Kind of rub out the hip, rub out the abdomen, upper abdominals, lower abdominals. And then when you feel ready, allow yourself to come to a big full body stretch. Inhale, exhale, and then using the strength of your core, draw the opposite knee in. Extending the leg that was just bent, nice, straight, and strong. Get on top of the knee, behind the knee, whatever you've got is fine. And then release that foot into the floor. Extend the opposite arm out, and then the hand of the bent leg side is going to kind of do its little massage. And then, once we've had enough of that side, you're going to switch sides, taking your time. No rush or hurry. And then when you feel ready, we're going to extend all our hands and feet out. Being long and tall. Getting really, really long from fingertip to toe. And then bringing the hands, palm down, resting by the side. And now your option, if you feel like I'm good, feel free to move toward your final relaxation here, your final Shavasana, right? Allow yourself to completely relax, completely let go if you'd like. Shoulder stand could be for you. Simply extending the feet up. If you have a pillow at home, you can lift the hips and place the pillow right under. If you have shoulder stand and you'll practice regularly, you're going to demo that now. We take a big inhale and then exhale, extending the feet up toward the sky, catching our hips, elbows are in, lacing close, pointing our toes, lifting the hips high, squeezing the glutes. And we don't look around here. We look directly up toward the sky, even though I just did. And then when you feel ready, taking your time, coming down by bending the legs in knees toward your nose, and then carefully rolling out your option to roll up and counter stretch if you so choose. And then we're going to move toward our final relaxation, everybody. So finding a way to get comfortable and let go. It could be in child, it could be down on the back body, it could be um, sort of knocking the knees together, like whatever you'd like to do is great. And before we drift off, we're going to place one hand below our belly button. And this time, our other hand right on our heart. So thinking about connecting our gut sense with what our emotions need in our heart space, in our heart center, right? How can we manage our own feelings and emotions connected to what our gut says, connected with shining our own inner light and energy out into the world? And complete inhale. Deep and complete exhale. One more time, inhale. And as your next exhale comes, allow your hands to rest any way that feels good. And allow yourself to drift. Letting go of controlled thoughts. 
feeling. Just allow yourself to drift. rolling over onto one side when you feel ready or feel free to stay. You are in the comfort of your own space. If you want to take a little more time, please do. You're ready to transition out. Carefully press yourself up to your comfortable seat, whatever that means to you. Staying up very tall. Just take note of how you feel. How are you? Place one hand on your heart and the other over top. Gently bow your chin toward your chest, honoring your own internal energy. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much, everybody. Enjoy. Thanks, Christina.